Vlogmas fam, it's your girl T here. We're gonna have a vlog day, vlog morning, because I am out running errands. Um, overlook, overlook my look, because I'm looking rough. Threw my hair up in a natural ponytail. Doing some shorts and a t-shirt. Sneakers, all today. But we're going to do some talking about Well, I'm going to do some talking about my health. I had to go see my endocrinologist the other day because my B12 blood count and my iron and my sugar all stay super low. Every six weeks, I have to go for iron infusions and blood. Then... I take a six week break off to see how my body does with it and then I go back I get it checked and then if we have to we have to go back well we're seeing that within X amount of days like literally days to maybe a week that my body is losing it somehow and we don't know why or what's going on so I pretty much stay cold like I stay freezing cold I'm not talking about chilly cold I stay freezing cold. Like I said, if you noticed in a lot of my videos, I normally have a jacket on because I just stay cold. We normally keep it like 70-ish in the house. And to me, that's cold. Um, on days when it gets like really super warm outside, I normally, if my camera angle is bad, I'm sorry, but I can't really see because the camera's so dark. Um, when it gets really warm outside, most of the time, I, um, yeah, well, I think it's like, cut, cut my head off, but anyway, I like to sit outside on my front porch and just soak in all the sun and the rays that I can get because I stay so cold. So, um, and me and my baby daddy do not get along with that. Matter of fact, me and my baby daddy don't get along, my daughter nobody could get along with me because my cold is normally not cold to them and what I can say is hot it's they, it, it's not a point of me being hot because I don't know what hot is but um so this is why I get the iron and the blood and stuff but to wonder where it's all going <laughs> it's a mystery to all of us my mom calls me her her odd child yeah I am um, we don't know what what's making it do it we have no clue so I am starting to wonder what's going on so now they're my endocrinologist is sending me to get a neck x-ray um, of my thyroid and everything around it because it's starting to hurt it doesn't necessarily hurt when I swallow is that it feels like something is just grabbing onto my voice box like or to my um, windpipe like something's just grabbing my throat um we don't we don't know why this has been going on for a while now um so now we're trying to figure out what's going on and then um, i had to tell her about because i hadn't seen her my six week break all from my iron and blood um that's when we had got diagnosed with um i had got diagnosed with my lupus well with lupus and we uh i told her about it and then she got looking at my rashes and stuff and looking at my face and she was like yes it's definitely that and of course so now we go on so yay but this is why I literally like I said stay cold I mean I stay cold and then I stay tired like yesterday it was one of those iffies get up and do something around the house I didn't leave the house not at all I literally stayed in the house um, I'm starting to wonder did a lot of this take a toll on me when I decided not to eat meat. But the reason why I decided not to eat meat was because I had went out to eat with the baby daddy and we ate it. We ate at five guys. And I literally got sick from eating a grilled cheese and french fries. And I was like, what in the world? Like, this is very not normal. I was like, hmm. So, I was like, well, we can just, you know, mark it off as 
a hit or miss. You know, I, I just got sick from it. Well, then we went to, I forget where we went, and I ordered, I, I want to say I ordered a hamburger from like a local McDonald's or maybe Wendy's. I don't even remember because it's been so long ago. And I got sick from it, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Is it is it just me, or or what? So then every time after that, I think it's like a psychological thing, maybe. Every time after that, when I would eat meat, I would get sick. So I eventually just winged myself off of it to where I wasn't eating meat at all. And I haven't had meat in, I think, like five years, maybe. I think it's going on five years that I've not eaten meat. That's what makes me vegetarian because me and cheese has this love connection, this love bond that can never like break for real. No matter how sick I get eating cheese, I think I will love cheese forever. But I think ever since I really stopped eating, and I don't eat the best of healthy when it comes to being a vegetarian, like I don't eat a lot of vegetables. I'm not gonna lie. I think the closest I get to any vegetables probably is a veggie burger. I do not like broccoli. As a child, I love broccoli, but as an adult, I do not love broccoli at all. I, I just don't, I've tried it and I just can't do it. Um, I, every now and then will crave a salad. Not that it's the best either, but every now and then I'll crave one. Um, every now and then when, when my mom cooks dinner and I go over there, I, I can eat vegetables, but my eating is very, very picky and very odd and weird. Like, I eat a lot, and I mean a lot, of macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes. Those are like my top two favorite dishes. Um, I may, and I'm not a, I do not eat beans. Ugh, I, I don't. The only time I will eat beans is if my mom makes them. And... I would want more of the soup of the bean instead of the bean on some cornbread. So I don't, I don't really eat beans. Um, I bought some butternut squash noodles, some zoodles, is that what you call them? I bought some of those um, last week, but I didn't check the expiration date. So by the time I was going to them, they were expired. So I didn't want a chance and didn't get sick. So I didn't eat them, so I threw them away. But I thought that maybe I can try them again, get some more and try them again, maybe get the frozen version and try them again and see, you know, what I think of those because I don't think I've ever had those before. So, yeah. And I've had, you know, squash before and zucchini. I've made it in my crock pot once before and it was really good. Like, I really loved it. I think I ate on it. I, I made it in the crock pot, basically ate on it all weekend from Friday to Monday morning. I was eating on it. But, um, yeah, that's what's, you know, what's going on with me. So, yeah, but I don't understand, like, what my body could be doing with the iron blood and B12 and my sugar staying low. Because with my sugar staying low, I love junk food. Love junk food. I love chips. I love cake. But, hold on, let's specify cake. Me and little Debbie... Uh, no, <laughs> they are, there's a saying that a lot of fat people love little Debbie cakes. I don't do little Debbie cakes. Oh my gosh, no. I don't like pudding. I don't like pudding. Now I'll eat banana pudding because my mom makes it with the cookies, with the with the white with the cookies and the bananas. I'll do it that way. I mean, I'll eat pudding that way. But that's the only way I will eat pudding. Other than that, mm -mm, I don't do pudding. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm not a big chocolate fan. Like I don't, I don't like chocolate chip cookies. I, <laughs> I'm really odd, weird, whatever you want to say. When it comes to eating junk, I think more of my junk eating, I kid you not, is I love a birthday cake with the buttercream icing. Don't give me that whipped icing. No, I do not like it. But give me some buttercream icing on a cake, and I am in heaven. Um, I don't do ice cream anymore because I had my gallbladder taken out and it, um, me and dairy, other than cheese, cheese doesn't bother me as much, but milk does. Milk and ice cream gives me the real bad, uh, stay in the bathroom, just stay here and camp out. 
so I don't do much ice cream. Um, I tried some of the other ice creams, and um, the only one I think I liked was the I don't know. It's not, it's with almond milk, made with almond milk in it, and it's really good. But it's expensive. Like the small containers of it, it's like almost five dollars here. It's expensive. But every now and then I will like splurge and buy it just so I can have ice cream in the house. But um, I eat. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I eat very unhealthy. Um, I think one day I'll do a what I eat in a day, and you will see that I don't have the the best of a diet. I'm not gonna say I do. I I will not protest and say I eat healthy. I eat right. I'm not even gonna say I work out half the time when I. I mean, I do, but. Like I said, I'm no one to give no one advice on anything when I don't even eat right. But um, if y'all have any advice, leave it in the description box below. And I will see. Maybe I can do a try. Um, I can try to make something and report it. See, I'm about to see if we can do that. It's something fun to do. If this thing is cutting off my head, I'm so sorry. My phone is like falling off my mouth. But anyway, so let me go get my grandbaby, my daughter, and I will be back. Hey, Veg fam, it's your girl T here. I am sitting outside on the front porch. It's a pretty nice night out here. It's not it's not too hot. It was pretty warm earlier, but yeah, so don't <laughs> take what I have on as the weather. It's not the weather. Um, I was cold earlier, and I just threw my hoodie on. And I came outside to warm up, and I've been out here ever since. But um, just wanted to come at you and end my vlog from the other day that I didn't get the end because we got busy. Uh, my daughter and I are both car shopping. And we had the grandbaby with us, so it was like a lot of, I stayed out in the van with the grandbaby while my daughter did her looking around. It was easier easier on us that way, because I can normally shop for my car when I want to without the grandbaby. And, uh, but we got her today because her mother went car shopping. She came over at 8.30 this morning, and she did not go home until about Six-ish this evening. And by the way, if you see any smoke in the in the picture, I got um, have my um, centronola and uh, my off candles burning. So that's where it's from. But um, I just wanted to come at you and let you know that I will be maybe in my next video, if not my next one, but be within the next couple videos. Um, I will let you all see where the baby daddy fixed my scale. We had to resync it to my computer and my phone. Because I kept wondering why it wouldn't it wouldn't work. I mean, it was working, but it wouldn't like sync anything. It would say guest, and it wouldn't you know program my name in it. So I will show y'all. I think I weighed in last Thursday, so this Thursday will be another weigh in. I think it's either Thursday or Friday. I can't remember what day it was. And I will also go through my journal. And let you all see what I have been eating, which has not been the healthiest, like I said. It's been nothing but junk. Um, I have three unboxings I gotta do. One is my workout jackets. So I know for sure because that one's already open. And then one's from Amazon, another one from Walmart. Don't know what they are. They've been sitting there for a couple weeks now. Um sorry I don't have my glasses on. I'm sitting outside with my ring light. And um I didn't want it to reflect off my glasses too bad. So I took them off. But, um, so yeah, that videos are those videos are coming up. And also, a walk video was supposed to be coming up today, but my daughter didn't send the baby stroller, so we couldn't take her out. And, I mean, granted, yeah, I can go walk around the neighborhood, but I had her, so I couldn't, walk, I couldn't walk with her, and I still haven't got my stroller for her yet, because she's still not quite as big enough to sit in a stroller like I want her to, so I prefer to have her stroller, because her car seat snaps to her stroller really good and that's why we normally keep around so yeah but a walk video will be coming here soon and sorry if I look like I'm down and out like I'm not it's just I'm sitting outside and like 
a lot of my neighbors are out. They probably wonder what am I doing, so I'm just trying to like play cool. But um, I woke up this morning feeling really good. Like I wasn't, I wasn't tired or sluggish or anything, which is a shocker because normally coming off a day of like laying around, because yesterday I didn't do anything but laid around. Coming off a day like that normally makes me like super tired. And I actually felt really good today. Um, last night I did call my mom and asked her where my brother at, and she said your brother's going to the grocery store. And I was like, tell my brother to pick me up a head of lettuce. And so my brother picked me up a head of lettuce. My mom didn't bring it to me until like ten thirty last night. So ten thirty last night I was eating lettuce, a wedge of lettuce with the Southwest Chipotle ranch dressing and some cheese. It was the bomb. It was really good. So, I know it wasn't the healthiest thing, but it was better than the donuts and the pumpkin roll that I was eating. So, I had that last night, but yeah, it was like funny how I conned my mom and brother to get me what I wanted. <laughs> Only if it could have been a little bit more healthier, it would have been better. But, um, yes, yeah, so I wanted to come at you and close out the vlog from the other day. I want to get this up and post it. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, ring that bell, and leave comments down below on what my next video should be or ideas or things y'all would like to see my next video to be. Alright? Love you all. Good day.